Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to customize tabs in your ribbon. Now this is your ribbon up here and these are your tabs that have associated commands on them. There's a couple ways that you can access the window to go, uh, the, the Excel options window to go and customize your tabs. One is to just simply right click your tab, anywhere in the tab, and just go to the Customize the Ribbon. It'll bring up this Excel Options window. The other way to do it, if you like keyboard shortcut, is press Alt F T. That's a little, that was a little fast, but let me show you. Press Alt F, and it brings up the Backstage View. This is called the Backstage View in Excel, and you're really bringing up the Options portion of that. That is the T and in there you can go to customize ribbon and when we customize the ribbon in this view I'll kinda of show you the different components of the ribbon see we have our main tabs our home insert page layout you see how they correspond here home insert page layout also if we expand it you'll see the different groups this is the clipboard group the font group the alignment group and within each of these are the commands that you can put in there now if you wanted to have a additional tab up here you would basically just go to insert a new tab now let's say I want to insert a new tab I want I do a lot of different printing options I use a lot of print different printing options I can click the new tab and it'll insert one in there and let's say I'll just rename this and I'll call it the print click OK you'll see now there is a print it's called print now under the new group Maybe I can also give it a new name. Um, I'll just call it um, Print Options. And maybe I'll try to find a little print icon. Here we go. And now I can start inserting commands. Let's go to All Commands and let's see what kind of print commands that we have. I'm just kind of scroll down here. Uh, here we go. Here's a couple print commands. So I'll go ahead and start to add them in there. We'll add it there. Let's print area, print list, print preview, print full screen, print titles. Okay, that should probably be enough. And we can go and click OK. And once we click OK, you'll see that it's entered in there now. Now we have a print tab with all the different commands that I've selected. Now let me go back and go back into the options, Excel options, Control FT, customize ribbon. Let's say I didn't want it to be the second tab I want it to be the first tab well you can reorder it so now it's the first tab here you can reorder all you want here if I click OK you'll see that it's, we'll see that it's moved up to the first position here let me go back into the Excel options window let's say I don't want this anymore well if you don't want it you can remove it basically you can just go and remove the tab or if you've created a lot of different tabs or a lot of groupings you want to go back to the default you can just click here and reset all customizations that you've done and I can go ahead and do that it's pro it'll probably reset everything to the default of when you installed Office 2010 with Excel 2010 and click OK get out of that so there you go there's the way that you can customize your ribbon by adding new tabs and new groups and different commands within those groups and tabs hope this helps thanks for watching